So let's start with a little bit of background. June 2013, you, so you had three good wins on the bounce yes, around yes, then. So we had Gavin Reese, Stephen Foster Jr. a couple yeah. of months later, which was on Frotch Groves number yes, one. Yes, what a fight. Obviously the big grudge match with John Murray you won. Yeah, that sort of led on. I had a little fight in Dublin which was sort of just seems to take over and then I think straight after that he announced Brilliant. the world title. It done my profile a whole lot of good. You know, the arena's a big place to be going to, but that allowed me to go to the arena and I know like say I was on the undercard and gradually the crowds grew. It, it made me grow as in like, in more ways more mentally, professionally. Big nights for us, pressure with it being Manchester United, pressure with it being the Gavin Reese fight where it was like, I had a little boy on the way whether, whether I'm gonna be a full-time professional or not. Yeah, it was that big. But we start tonight with the swell of support for the Manchester boxer Anthony Crawler after he was floored in a vicious attack by two burglars. The 28-year-old is said to be devastated that he's had to cancel a world title fight due to take place next month. So I went in, a lot of, like you said, the alarm's going off. Phone the next door neighbour. I said, Greg, I said, um, your alarm's going off here, mate. I said, um, I'll try and get it sorted. I'll, I'll get someone to go around and turn it off. Uh, went in, threw my gym back in. I was looking over the, the garden wall. And I thought, hang on, what's this? Is that broke or not? I'm looking. And you have an head popped out of the, the patio door. You know, you shout, you shout all sorts. And then ran through the house, ran round. So they'd left the house at this point. You know? I'd scare them from the house, ran up the street. So you're not going to get away from me. I've caught up with them pretty quick. I've sort of cornered them there. So one started climbing the gate, fence, and one lucky for me. A concrete slab happened to be loose. A concrete slab then come down on my head. Fractured skull, broken ankle in a few places. <laughs> and uh, not the best injuries to have going into a world title fight. So I was like, wow. So I literally knew him. Yeah, when I come back, I was like, a brick or a slab's gone over my head. And, and it had, even though I'd not seen it. And I sort of stumbled back. Mrs. She said, she's going, oh my God, well, I was covered in blood. And at this minute, I don't know what my injuries are. And my mate was coming round, one of my best mates was coming round to pick up tickets for the fight. And he's walked in and he's gone, my God, what's happened? Was you thinking about the fight at that point? Oh, without a doubt. Without, yes, that's all I was thinking about. And I say all the time, desperate people, they'll cling to desperate, you know, they'll cling to hope, any kind of hope. The adrenaline's still there, but the pain's starting to come through. A doctor come out to me, you know, I'd had this brain scan and all that. He says, oh, he says, um, Anthony says, um, you're the boxer, aren't you? And I said, yeah, I am, yeah, I said, um, Fighting for my first world title next month, I said. He just looked at me and I just knew straight away, he just went, no, no, he says, listen, I'm really sorry, but that won't be happening. And right there and then, my world just ended, do you know what I mean? My world just ended. Today we're here and I'm absolutely delighted to announce that Anthony Crawler will fight Darlis Perez for the WBA lightweight title. Some people thought the backdrop was to announce my retirement, but then when that dropped, it was, yeah, it was, um, it was unreal. 18th of July, 2015. An interesting fight for, for many reasons. Um, you must have fought, especially with them low blows going in, that, that's, that's done. Yeah, I, I thought, I can't believe it. Even you know, without the low blows, you was... Yeah, yeah. yeah. A lot, honestly, to this day, Scott, and got, even like when you get people into it and go, you know, it wasn't as bad as robbery as what everyone said. I've never seen anyone say, I thought Crawler lost that one. Way split. unbelievable. The fight is a draw. The champion keeps his title. And even after it, do you know what I was mad like? I was, I was gutted, but I'm just happy to be back boxing, Scott. I was on this massive high, and I thought I've been robbed of a world title here. And you know, you see all those big controversy online at the time, and being the fighter who got a concrete slab over his head to the fighter getting robbed of a world <laughs> title. Shouldn't laugh, but. Um, <laughs> I knew there was a great chance of the rematch being, you know, happening. Thankfully, the WBA done the right thing and ordered a rematch. Tonight, he is the challenger, the fighting bride of Manchester, England, Anthony Million Dollar Crawler. If you remember right, I remember Joe saying, you've got, you know, you've got to roll out. No, just slip with the right hand. And after the jab, you slip and let foot as well. All right, OK. okay. okay. Now keep them feet and that rhythm going. Don't come off your feet. Okay. Yeah, I'm sorry. And I think it was in that round. I started hearing just a few little noises coming out when the body shot landed. Yep. I think I'm right in saying that. Fourth round. Peach of a body shot in the fourth with just over a minute to go. He drove the jab through his guard, pierced yep. him with a nice uppercut. 
Joe's comments. Yeah, no, no, no. Listen, you're hitting the body, lovely. Right hook spot in, left hook spot in. Left hook and put into the pit then. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right yeah. I listened. I wasn't a bad listener. <laughs> Thankfully, I did then, and yeah, the obviously fifth, then we yep. went into roll, round five, and and then bang, pinpoint left hook to the mid drift. Perez went crumbling. You almost casually walked back to the neutral corner. I was looking, and I realised I'm looking, thinking, hang on a minute, he's not going to get up. No, no, don't get up. Stay down, stay down, and then. the scenes it was mad it was seen, yeah. loud on TV really loud I mean yeah. spine get tingling tough I can see you getting a little bit emotional thinking about it um, yeah. you went off on all four turnbuckles like a WWE wrestler Manchester yes, I did. Yeah, they, it was brilliant I just felt like you know I was just proud the proudest man in the world right then you know there's a lot of people in the ring a lot of hugs you can see Eddie's very emotional as well Joe's yeah. tearing up yeah that was the proudest uh, yeah that was that was such a proud I was proud just for everyone like I remember my dad coming in the ring you never like that my dad I mean, might have been the only time or once after that and he was just I was very proud for a lot of reasons and I felt like I'd made a lot of people proud close to me so it meant the world.